In this quick tips video, we're going to be talking about the docker. That's this section right here, these 12 buttons. And what that does, and you can click this little question mark to read more, is that's going to allow you to change the order or the placement of the buttons over here easily. So let's go ahead and get started. You can do one of two things here. You can select from additional operation, add buttons to docker. It'll say dock over here. And so then if we pick this button, it will copy it over here to the docker. Now this, as you can see, doesn't show the word reply, but if you hover over it, it'll show what it does. And this is the tooltip for that button. So if we go over here, you'll see it says Alt plus send. Oh, so that would be the send button. <laughs> Let's just change this so it says send. Send. There we go. And um, sometimes you need to click apply. So let's pick our second one. We'll choose reply. Let's pick this one, the OSK keyboard. The, that's the on-screen keyboard. We're here, Outlook Dictation. Uh, this one is our touch keyboard. And here is Cortana. Okay, then let's take this row down here and so right now we're doing this, and this is fine, it's working okay, but it's a little slow. So we can actually click on continuous and click and click and click and add all of these that way. And then just click on cancel or hover over cancel. Now, if we want to move this line right here up to here, in the past, that would be problematic because we'd be copying over things and so we'd have to move them out of the way uh, this allows us to do that easily without losing the uh, original button that was there. So we're going to click and click again up here. Now we're going to press, click, click, tap, click, click, tap. And you can see we've moved this set of buttons up here. And now these background colors have stayed the same here and include when pasting. This section is related to the Docker. If you want to copy a button that's in the Docker, but let's say we want to keep this orange color of this uh, button right here. So we would take out foreground color and let's tap here twice, tap up here. Notice that we have that button, retained this background color, kept the foreground color that was already there. This is great if you want to kind of shuffle things around, if you want to uh, move them from one preset. So like if, if this artist pad over here wasn't the one that you wanted to put it on, but you say, I really like this section of buttons right down, right down here, and I want to put it on my OneNote preset. This is what the Docker is for, built for exactly such a thing. Now, if you click on a Docker button, Let's click on the OneNote one. Let's clear all here. If you click on an empty Docker button, it will immediately turn on the pick button function. So let's click right here, and we're going to click on one of these buttons over here. And you'll see in the Docker, this Docker button actually represents two buttons. These are stacked buttons. The Docker is something that we're very proud of. It does a lot of different things. If you have any problems with it, please put those in the Discord or comment here in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.